Poetry Farm is not just about raising bed, it's about raising the bar on your skills and knowledge. Today, I'm sharing my top five mistakes to avoid in poetry farming so you can skip the struggle and get straight to success. Hi, guys, welcome back to Coca Farm, where the best are happy and lessons are plentiful. Mistake number one insufficient planning. You see, in poultry farming, we need to be prepared before we even enter it. No matter the type of poultry bed you want to farm, even if it is broiler, if it is layers, moiler or turkey, there is an addict that said he who failed to plan has already planned to fail. Poultry farming fits in into this adage. For example, you want to go into your layers farming. You need to plan ahead. How many capacity am I able to do? Insufficient planning also includes insufficient fund. If you know you are not able to raise 2,000 bed, then you go and opt in for it. You will be stuck in between because feed take like 80% of your capital. So when you are planning, you need to factor all these things. Another example of insufficient planning is your housing. You are going into poultry farming and you don't even know the space that is going to contain your 2,000 bread or your 1,000 bread. You need to involve a professional to help you plan it from day one. This is what I always say in my channel. You need to involve a professional, your animal scientist or veterinary doctor to take you the dimension of your farm. You need to plan it alongside with it. If you are going to do your brooding by yourself, if you want to have a processing plant in your farm, you need to plan it along if you are doing your bread farm not is not that after you have now started then you are now looking for a processing plan then you are stuck poultry farming can force you to borrow money even if you don't want to borrow money but if you don't plan it well from the beginning you might end up borrowing money you might end up even going out of the business i've seen some farmer that does not plan well their capital is only able to raise one thousand bed and they going to collect five thousand point of lay for the best style lay the field has taken almost all their money their capital and they end up going to borrow some of them end up selling all the bed they'll be like ah poultry farming is not good under insufficient planning is insufficient knowledge you know you don't know anything about it please get a professional go close to people that can help you please pay a professional so that they will save you the stress and the struggle of poultry farming you know these beds are livestock and they need to be nurtured they need to be cared for let me give you a practical example as a mother if you are about to give it to your first child so many people used to come and give you advice because they believe that you have not done this before this is your first time of giving bread that's also how poultry farming is this is your first time of starting this business you don't know how much capital is going to entail you don't even know the market you need to go out and go and search for your market as a broiler farmer or as a layer farmer you need to go out and go and look for your market even before you start your farm if you go close to farmers or professional they're going to tell you oh oh boy oh girl this is how it's been done in this thing oh. let me tell you something feed used to get expensive every week so if you don't know that feed is always getting expensive every week for example you want to go into poultry farming you are planning to collect your 1000 bed and you calculate the price of your feed from day o to point of lay let's say one bag of grower is being sold for 13,000 for example you now calculate that 13,000 times the number of weeks they are going to eat it you calculate it and you want to keep just that money and you have not even bought that grower at once you, you see that feed start getting expensive every time you have not planned well before you can plan well you need a professional to help you at least for the first time you need somebody to hold you side by side that's why i used to emphasize that i have a professional on the farm but some new farmers they don't want to pay a professional and that is a very bad habit if you are a new farmer please avoid this mistake so many people used to message me that their business has crashed when they started just because they refuse to plan they don't know anything about it they don't plan well and they don't invite a professional to eat so that is the number one mistake to avoid mistake number two to avoid is poor biosecurity Biosecurity is just a way of helping you to prevent the outbreak of disease on your farm. And how do you do that? You have to disinfect your footwear before entering into your pen every time. Don't just go and let anybody enter your pen just like that because of disease. Because we have so many diseases out there. So when you disinfect your footwear before entering, that is why many farms or almost all farms always have a foot dip that they will have put disinfectant inside the water and a footwear only designed for their farm regardless of the type of poultry bed that they are farming and don't just allow anybody to enter your pen if you want to attend to customer please attend to them outside of your pen do not let them just come and say i want to see your chicken oh they are fine they are good no 
you have to prevent this poor biosecurity some people don't even have the footwear they are using on their farm and they just come with the footwear that are coming from outside the same footwear inside their pen and they end up bringing disease from outside or other farms to their pen and they'll be like they don't just know what happened if you don't take proper biosecurity you might end up losing all your flock and that is not what you are here for so as a newbie farmer or even if you are an existing farmer you have to take your biosecurity measure properly use your footwear you have a footwear that you will use in the farm separate from the one you are bringing from your house please always disinfect your footwear before entering the pen if you are into broiler farming if you have a processing plant in your farm please the attendant that is attending to your bed that will enter who should be different from the one in the processing unit so that can control the outbreak of disease the thing about this poultry farm is that when there is an outbreak of disease because they are always together it's easily spread the disease that used to come into the farm easily gets spread and before you can control it you'll have lost most of your flock before the disease can calm down even if you invite a professional professional are not magician at least they will treat them but it might be only one bed that is infected but before you know it most of your flock have get infected because they are together they are eating together they are drinking water together so please prevent this avoid this mistake so that you not end up going out of the business mistake number three to avoid inadequate nutrition this is very very important because poultry farming is garbage in garbage out it is what you give to your bird that the bird will give to you back even if you are a broiler farmer or a layer farmer or any type of poultry bed you are farming it is the quality of what they take in that will give you the quality of what they will bring outside for example if you are into layer farming and you are giving them feed that is not rich in calcium mind you when they are going to lay your egg they might lay an egg that does not have shell at all and they might also lay a held egg that has shell but the shell has not yet formed that's why i said what they take in will determine what they're going to give you house what did i need to give my bed go and research and ask a veterinary doctor what they need to be taking part time what drug they need to be taking if they need to take vitamin you give them vitamin if they need to be vaccinated you vaccinate them if you want to give them food give them the right food that's why on my channel i've done many videos concerning that in short i've done a video that talk about what you need to give them the calculation the ratio of the feed you need to give your bed the gram per bed i've done it i've done the type of feed you need to give them i've done the forms of feed you need to give them i've also done video on the calculation of your feed you need to give your bed every every day so those things are very very important i've seen so many people reach out to me that their bed have not started laying so so weeks they have not started laying why it's because they are underfeeding their beds some people are underfeeding their bed why some farmers are overfeeding their bed just because they don't calculate the feed they don't know how many they just say mm, i'm just pouring for them i'm just pouring for them no you can't just pour feed for them anyhow you need to calculate what goes into them so that you'll be in business if you are not giving them the good nutrition you need to give them what they need and you need to know the type of feed they need at that stage week one what type of feed they need at week one what type of feed they need at week two when they start laying what type of feed should you change to what quantity you need to be uh, informed on those things and you need to get those things right because those things they can give you profit or make you loss totally if you are underfeeding your bed you are on a loss if you are overfeeding them you are still on a loss because you are losing money if you are underfeeding them they will not even give you any result at all they will just be eating your food to survive they'll be on survival mode and again some people used to reach out to me that how can they make their feed can they start making their feed because of the cost of food you see let me tell you the truth there's no shortcut in poultry farming if you want to start making that feed just because you want to your cost on your feed you right i know feed are expensive i know okay do you know the formula that those feed company don't they use do you know they have secret formula that they don't expose to everybody all those things they write in their label that is not exactly what they give them they keep their secret formula because if you say you want to go and mill your feed now you don't know the the ratio of corn you don't know the ratio of the nutrient that is there how available is your raw material how can you get your raw material how can you get your corn will that not be a distraction to you now i'm not discouraging people that want to mill their feed i'm just telling you what you need to look out for before you start milling your feed so that you not be stuck because if you start milling your feed today after one month you know you can't source for your raw material again you now jump to finish feed it's your affect that bed though it's better you decide that is even part of your planning from the beginning do you want to mill my feed or i want to be buying finished feed if i want to mill my feed how available are my raw material what have i known about milling feed because you, if your feed that you are milling lack those essential nutrients in it your bed will not do well at the end of the day you are trying to save cost on feed you end up losing 
seeing your profit is not done that way i would rather advise that if you want to go for finish feed though the feed is expensive just do your calculation have a farm record have a record that you're putting your total input so that at the end of the day you will minus your expenditure from what comes in then you'll be able to set your price mistake number four is inefficient water management this is not really common but it's very important to the success of your poultry farming i used to tell people that the water that you cannot drink please don't give it to your bed don't compare this bed with those beds you see outside those are our local fowl that can that roam about that drink different type of water they drink water in the gutter water on the floor no as long as you are a commercial poultry farmer you can't try that you need to make sure that what your beds are drinking is a very clean water and also you need to wash your overhead tank make sure you wash your tank maybe every month or every two two months make sure what they are taking in is very open. this is very common to farmers that are using battery case system they just put the water they just say the water is flowing instead of them to check their pipeline instead of them to dislime their pipe that they are nipple drinker end up getting blocked and at the end of the day they see mortality every day they start removing mortality they start removing mortality they, they don't know that their water system and water management is not okay so you need to check your water you need to check the nipple every time if there's a blockage you need to do your disliming almost every time and this is very common on the farm because it's always ignored it costs mortality and this brings us to the last point the last mistake to avoid in my list today is my favorite neglecting regular health check this is my favorite you know why most of the existing farmers fall into this category most are like farmers that have been in the business for 50 years old they fall into this category they neglect the regular health check they felt that I, I have experience now what is it should be if my bed is coughing i'll just give it this if my bed is not laying well i'll just give it multivitamin i'll just use latusa i'll just use gomboro i'll just use foul post i'll just use this i'll just use that just because they have been in the business for years Lee, let me tell you something being in the business for years does not make you a professional that is why you have to work with your veterinary doctor always tell the doctor to come and check on your bed every time do not leg let the out of the bed as a newbie farmer i'll give you one simple tips don't wait for your bed to be sick before you call your doctor that's a very very bad thing that i've seen in the poultry industry it's only when there is an outbreak that's when they reach out to their veterinary doctor At that time things have already gotten worse because they will have used all the old medication they know when it's not working they will not start calling their veterinary doctor and the veterinary doctor will end up charging them because they know that they are ignorant please do not neglect your bed health always let your veterinary doctor come to your farm at least once a month if you can subscribe for once a week subscribe for once a week some people will think that i want to pay my doctor again things are expensive why would i be paying my doctor your doctor will help you to avert some disease that will have happened on your farm because when you lose your bed that is a loss that is not profit tell your doctor to come on a weekly basis if you have the money if you don't have the money tell your doctor to come on a monthly basis if you, if you still don't have that money tell your doctor to come on two two month basis just make sure your doctor keep coming to your farm every time so you have to pay always be close to your veterinary doctor what is crisis they will have noticed every veterinary doctor come to the farm now what you as a farmer that's been in business for 10 years have not seen your veterinary doctor will see it a professional will notice it and say ah why is this bed like this you even check your record they will have known what you're not doing right because your own job is to raise them and to make profit their own business is to make sure that your beds are okay that's the only thing they are thinking so you can't compare your own knowledge to their knowledge so i'm telling you this so that you will save money of buying drugs every time you save money of paying your veterinary doctor when there is an outbreak because the money you are going to pay for your veterinary doctor when there is an outbreak is different from the one you will subscribe now it's like doing prevention we all know that prevention is much cheaper than cure when you call him on a monthly basis if there is no outbreak we just tell you get this get that that will not be expensive but if there is an outbreak and you call that doctor if the doctor cannot attend to you immediately that means you continually lose your bed mortality upon mortality and if the doctor now arrive it's not a magic channel you will have to diagnose him. if it will require him to take some sample to the lab you will have to take some sample to the lab before you can see what is happening to your bed before you cannot prescribe before the recipe cannot start working my dear you will have lost some of your flock so it's advisable for you to get in contact with them and come and check your bed up every time so in recap for the five mistakes to avoid the first one is insufficient planning the second one is poor biosecurity the third one is inadequate nutrition the fourth one is inefficient water management why the last one on the list is neglecting regular health check if you know you've gotten value from this video do well to subscribe like and share and also drop your comments at the comments box turn on the notification bell i will see you in my next video bye